Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to a new week in raising that fun ball of whatever he is, Shinji Akari. So, uh, last week we did a whole bunch of sync ratios, and I was actually thinking of, I was looking at the stats before. So here's what all the stats do. So you got knowledge, which is, uh, the higher it is, the less likely Shinji will fail his, uh, tests. Uh, physical power, the higher it is, less, uh, likely he'll get sick, so he's a freaking beast of a man right now. Then we've got, oh god, I forgot the, what the fucking stats were already. Right Jesus Christ. Morality, morality. Uh, higher it is, uh, the more likely he will listen to Masato. Presumably that specifically means in combat. Um, which, you know, it's fairly high, so I'm sure that's good. Uh, then we got this one, which is, uh, sensitivity, which is, uh, the higher it is, the more it'll, the easier it is for, to get you to date people. Good old sexuality, the higher it is, the more attracted to girls he is, the lower it is, the more he's attracted to boys. Still, I think that's way too high than what I want it to be, because I want Karu, so I don't know, I don't actually know how to lower it, so hopefully we'll, this'll do. And then we got the sick ratio, which is... Which, yeah, does affect the, uh, uh, attack and defense of the Ava. And I was gonna, like, boost up his, uh, intelligence, and then I realized, no, 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 screw that. Let's max the freaking sick ratio out. So we're gonna do a week full of sick ratio tests. Again. Uh, do you want to do anything this week? Uh, you mean go shopping? I need money. I have money, I have stress. Actually, yeah, let's go go shopping. That's right, I tried to, no, you know what, I tried to this last week. No, Oscar, you can't come, fuck off. Um, but the shop is not actually available anymore. And I don't know why. It was available, yeah, because I remember I went there. That's how I discovered the whole thing was, if you bring Oscar and you take her to the, the restaurant, she's like, I want this, I want this, buy me this. She's like, friggin', Haruka from uh, uh, the Yakuza games, when you do her little request things. Except Haruka's like a billion times more cute. I don't know. Uh, okay, well let's, let's just get on with our schedule. Before we do that, I just want to talk a little bit about my channel. Um, and then we'll talk about my life. Because uh, stuff happened this week, for once. Uh, first of all, the channel. Uh, I did mention in the uh, Racing Ray that... Um, uh, you know, you of Evangelion is continuing, uh, we finished, uh, Digital Card Library last week, we're going, we're doing, uh, uh, Nintendo 64, uh, started that last week, we're doing that this week, and then we're going to be doing, uh, Evangelion 2, that's going to keep going, uh, but there's other stuff that, uh, other news on their channel, I do have to give an apology, two apologies actually, uh, actually, you know what, three, because this, this video is coming out late, which it does every every freaking Sunday, but you know it's nothing new. But the first apology is um, I totally forgot to upload a video um, yesterday for um, uh, the first fifteen. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, the re well, the reason why I didn't is because I I actually wanted to record a particular game with our own Jack, uh, but we never got around to it. So I purposely didn't upload anything because I was gonna we we're gonna play the game and I was gonna upload it then, but we never played it, so I never uploaded it and I totally forgot about it. And I was like last night I was like, oh wait a minute, oh fuck. <laughs> so I, I uploaded it last night and that's that's up there now. I think we I've restarted finally the first fifteen series. So that's that's happening every Saturday. Uh, there will be one week where I'll do something else, but for the time being we're gonna be doing the uh, the first fifteen. Uh, I have a couple of A's that I need to do, because, um, I got some more A games. And then we're going to be doing the B's. Uh, all the B games. Yeah, love those, love those B games. Uh, anyway. Um, 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 the third apology. The third apology that I, to another thing that I totally f remembered yesterday that I'd forgotten is that uh, I uh, I was supposed to do Arena. Um, I think we did the last Elder Scrolls Arena video that I did was on the 4th of January. I 
think it was the fourth? Wait, was it the fourth? It was the fourth, I think. And we were fast traveling somewhere, and we were going to arrive on, like, the ninth. And then, what's the day? Today is the 20th. Wait, is it the 24th or 25th? It is the 20... I don't know. I mean, it's the 24th. Um, so... Yeah. So I'm going to record that after this. And, uh, you know, I guess in just one video we'll just catch up to speed. Get back up to, like, up to date. And, uh, and then, yeah, we'll just continue. Uh, you know, Elder Scrolls Arena will continue after that. So, so is to those people who were waiting for uh, Arena, which is probably actually no one, considering that no one, like, left a comment or was like, hey, Leo, you didn't, you didn't do an Arena video. So, I, I guess, doesn't actually matter. Well, I, I, there's probably people watching this video, so I guess the message is being heard, but I don't think anyone really cares. So, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Anyway, in other news, so I did allude to this in the uh, Raising Iron Army. Uh, the uh, the year of Evangelion is going to wrap up around about March, April. It's probably actually going to go longer than that because uh, Evangelion 2 might be kind of a bit long. Uh, well, Joe too. We don't know how long Joe's going to go for. Um, so that might keep going after. Even this game, it's supposed to wrap, you of Evangelion's going to officially wrap up whenever Iron, both Iron Army and Raising Shinji games are finished. Probably Raising Shinji is going to wrap up last. Don't forget that there is a Cairo campaign. Is there? Yeah, after you finish Shinji. I don't know if it's automatically unlocked or you have to do something to unlock it. But yeah, there is a Cairo campaign which continues on. Oh, okay, well, whatever. The point is, when this game wraps up... We'll, we'll do the, I'll record the final video for Year of Evangelion, and then that'll officially wrap up the Year of Evangelion. Though there might be some stragglers, there might be some extra videos that you might be getting weekly. But, and of course, either uh, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain is going to keep going on forever. Um, oh, by the way, I, uh, I finished the game. Yeah, I've, I've actually finished the game. Uh, it'll be a while before we actually ca catch up to that. Catch up to that in... Um, uh, on my channel, but yeah, there was something I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to talk about with uh, with uh, Metal Gear, and that was um, in relation to just the the amount of soldiers uh, on the field. Uh, it makes sense in most cases. Like it's a big open world. I I get that you can't have too many soldiers there, and obviously too many soldiers would make the game hard. And you know, little outposts. That appear around Afghanistan and South Africa. Yeah, okay, that I can. Yeah, but that makes sense. I get that. But um, and even like like larger areas, like the very first village that you're quite a great supposed to go to for intel in the uh, the first Afghan mission, um, when you're rescuing cars. Uh, yeah, usually that has the right amount of soldiers in it that I would expect. Though, Doan Deha, which is the, the actual place that you rescue cows from, you would expect there to be a bit more um, troops there, considering that they are, you know, in fact, um, you know, holding cows. But even that I can forgive. Most, most places in the game I can forgive, except for maybe... The big Russian base in Afghanistan. There should probably be a little few more people there. But the big one is... Um, and it's spoiler, so I won't talk too much about it. But the quote-unquote final... Like, area... That you do go to... Um, um, it's like it's not unlocked until like the like very end of the game... Uh, well, I say the very end of the game, but, you know, the the end of the game. One of the endings of the game. Anyway, um, that, considering what that base is and who owns it, that base should have way, way, way more troops in it. And I was watching a guy stream playing uh, in that area, and he was just goofing around and doing stupid shit. He was, like, trying to see how many... 
uh, soldiers, uh, knocked out soldiers he could fit in the back of a truck. And then he was going to filter the truck and see how many he could filter out. And he was doing it in that area. And yes, there are a lot of troops in that area. But, like, he had a truck, right? He was in the, he was in the, 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 the like, most innermost sanctum of that area. Well, actually, it was the second most inner sanctum of that area. With a truck, like, just piling knocked out soldiers into a truck. And no one was saying anything. Um, it probably shouldn't happen. Honestly. But, yeah, whatever. I just, just feel like there should have been maybe a little bit more. I'm also disappointed that, I'm also disappointed in these subsistence missions. Uh, which you get in the later part of the game. Which are like, well, they are quote unquote OC, is it, uh, o OSP. On-site procurement, but they're not. They're not what I want in um, an on-site procurement. I don't know if I've talked about. I think I have talked about this before. I want. I want to be able to play the game, start the game with nothing, and have like no mother base support. Well, not minimum mother base support. Not like selecting my layout, my my um layout, my um loadout every time, and just to just continue the game. As like a, a like previous games in the series um, had done, and just like get weapons and stuff from enemy soldiers or find them in boxes and stuff like that, which you just can't do in the game as it is, because the only guns that you get from soldiers are either the AKs from the Soviets or the uh, the standard American rifle from. The American troops or, or um, PFs in, in South Africa. And that's all you get. Like, you never get, like, pistols. That You never, like, find weapons and boxes and stuff. What I want is to take, like, all the minerals. Mineral boxes that you find that are everywhere, right? Just replace them with item boxes. And give, like, variously different... Um, uh, premium, uh, primary weapons to, um, to just random troops on the field. Like, I know in missions, like, some guys have rocket launchers and sniper rifles and stuff, but, like, when you're just running around the field, everyone's just got the same AK in Afghanistan, and it's super boring. And I don't want their shitty guns. I want to be able to, like, upgrade my weapons, not by, like, like, R&D upgrading, but by, like, picking up an enemy's upgraded gun, and maybe taking something off of his gun and putting it onto my gun, and doing that kind of weapon customization, which you get later on the game. But, you know, that's just me. I didn't even talk about the thing I wanted to talk about. I got distracted by Metal Gear. Right, so, yeah, Metal Gear's gonna keep going, as is, you know, the first 15. Um, oh, the, oh god damn it, there's so much stuff I gotta talk about. So, the other thing that's happening on Saturday is, um, uh, what hasn't happened yet? Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. So, uh, we're, we're doing, at the moment, I'm still, I'm still soloing, um, uh, Peace Walker. Which we're still going with that. But, um, and I have already started recording it, um, like at the same time that I'm doing the, the solo, but whatever. Um, I gave up, I got the idea of doing... A mother base, a mother, no, sorry, a no mother base playthrough of Peace Walker. Kind of want to do it for um, Metal Gear 2, but like I said, without those things that I wanted, like just like if I just had to rely on the standard bullshit that you get from troops on the field, it wouldn't be very fun to do a no mother base playthrough. Anyway, the point I'm trying to say is, I'm going to when, whether I die or whether I finish Peace Walker, which. Either or, either or will happen fairly soon, um, because you know we're we're, we're getting we're, we're up to like um, cocoon. So cocoon? No, chrysalis. The flying, friggin' metal gear. Anyway, when it, whenever the game, whenever that playthrough finishes, I'm gonna start doing um, a no mother base playthrough. And what that basically means is. I'm not going to have any troops in Mother Base. They're all going to be... I'm going to dismiss them straight away. Uh, I'm not going to fall to dudes. Uh, for the most part. Um, 
the the guys that the people that do have to be there, like you know, Miller's there at the start. They're just gonna be sitting chilling out in the waiting room. They're not gonna be assigned to any troops. And I'm just gonna see how far I can get in the game. Doing that. Um, that'd be fun. I do know there's like one point in the game where you do need C4. Don't know how I'm gonna get past that, but we'll we'll get we'll figure something out, I guess. <laughs> Somehow, maybe you can pick, uh, you'd probably pick up C4 somewhere. We'll say. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and that's gonna be in lieu of um solo for a while. So solo is going on hiatus. Uh, but you know, first 15 will be there, so you'll have you know a new game a week. Which is kind of what Solo was supposed to be. It was supposed to be just play a random game. But, you know, do it one life at the same time. Um, but then you do, like, you do Peace Walker. And I ended up playing the same game every week for, like, how many weeks has it been? Uh, I don't know what episode we're up to on that. But, yeah, it's been a while. But, yeah, so we're just going to do Peace Walker. No, uh, no Mother Base playthrough for a while. When that finishes, we'll go back to doing some more Solo. Uh, but that's it. Anyway, like I said before, uh, you and Ingelin will wrap up, uh, you know, April, May, whenever, whenever this game finishes. Uh, so when that ha what, when that does finally happen, uh, I'm going to start a new playthrough. Uh, it's going to be a, a little bloggy thing like what these are um, and what Arena was until it became like, I just do a video every now and again, and then I just forget to do videos, <laughs> so I have to catch up madly. Um, I'm going to play, do a full playthrough, we'll see, uh, as much as I can, of Persona 4. I'm currently playing through Persona 3, I think I've mentioned that before. Um, I think I'm on January 10th at the moment, which, you know, I'm a little bit late. I, I was doing it day by day. And I've, I've, you know, kind of caught up. I think the game actually ends on January 31st. So, uh, that, that'll be finished. And then I will do, uh, like I said, a day-by-day -day playthrough of Persona. So, the the day and dates actually match up for 2015. So, when it is the, say, 25th of May on a Monday, it'll be the 25th of May on a Monday in-game. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I know there were times in Persona 3 where they do skip a couple of weeks, especially at the beginning of the game. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. I'll figure that out later. But I'm going to do, you know, basically try to do as much as I can. One video a day. I don't know how it's going to work. Back when I did Arena, I had a lot more free time and I could do that sort of shit. I don't really have that kind of free time these days. But I will try as best as I can. Um, yeah, so look forward to that. Persona 4, yeah. Never played Persona 4 b before. So, like, uh, I'm hoping that I've played through most of P1. Um, a little bit of P2, the first game. Uh, and I would have finished P3. Which is the most important one to play through. Because it's the one that most resembles P4. So, hopefully, that knowledge will help me through, um... P4, even though I've never played the game before. Yeah, alright. I did notice that there was a guy on uh, YouTube that did, was doing all day by day playthrough, but then he stopped it like. The game starts at like April, yeah, and then he stopped it like in May. So it didn't, he only lasted like a month and a bit, and then he just stopped. And he'd already played the game, so he knew what he was doing. I'm not gonna have a clue what I'm doing. That's gonna be fun. Also, he wasn't doing it. Like, he was doing a day by day playthrough. But he wasn't actually, like, stopping every day and, like, starting the next day. He was, I think he started, like, in November 2014 or something. And uh, he, I think he just recorded a whole bunch of videos in, uh, a whole bunch of days in a row. And just cut them up as, as so that they were, you know, each day. Which I'm not going to do, I'm just going to, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I guess, like, if there's, like, a skip. And I know that, like, in P3... When you um, physically go to bed, you know, and the day rolls over, I guess what I'll do, well, in those cases, it's not too bad. You just save the game before you do that, and then, you know, when I'm going to start the next one, like I did with Arena, um, like, click the button to go to bed, and time it right so that when the recording starts, it catches in, you know, the, um, the day switch over. 
But there are going to be times when it's going to be like, you know, like uh, in P3 you do exams and it just go it blitzes through like the four days of exams in one go and you don't get any like breather or time to save. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Yeah, but it's have to like if, if it is exams and you like have to select answers. I guess I'll just write down the answers that I do, so I do the same answers. I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright, I should probably actually get on and do this mission. So what happened this week? Well, Monday... So we're just doing we're just doing SIG tests all week. I'm just selling that right now. But Monday was freaking cold and windy. It was cold as shit. Uh, and then Tuesday, I opened my freaking uh, window. Well, actually, no, I walked out the front door to go to work. And there was snow everywhere. It was like, oh no, not snow. Doesn't snow in my hometown in uh, in Australia. So I was like, oh, I hate snow. Cold as shit. And it was cold as shit. It was windy. It was a little snowy. It wasn't that snowy, to be honest. So it wasn't really that bad. But fuck. Um, Wednesday was also. It wasn't snowy, but it was windy. It was cold as hell. So I think it was. I think it was Monday. It was like nine degrees. Or well, let's say Sunday it was 9 degrees. And then Tuesday it went down to freaking minus 2 or minus 1. That's a huge drop if you ask me. It is. That's like... That's, that's like 10 degrees in like a, a 9. <laughs> so that's that's amazing. Uh, but then Thursday, Friday it picked back up again. Thank God. Saturday... So yesterday, yeah, yesterday was fine. Uh, but then yesterday someone told me that it's probably going to snow... Today, uh, and they, they were projecting that it would be the most snowfall that this town had had in the last 10 years. And I said, oh, goody. So today, yeah, there was snow. I was like, oh, wow, snow, that's cool. But it wasn't that bad. And then this afternoon, it fucking snowed. And it's snowing like hell now. It's like 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. now. And it is snowing like a bucket. There's snow everywhere. It's cold as shit. It fucking sucks. So that might continue tomorrow as well, which will suck. That's really all I did this week. Um, oh wow, the place is kind of messy as shit. So we might need to do some cleaning next week. But that's what we're gonna do next week. What's your stress looking? Stress is getting up to a hundred, but you know, look at your your, your physical powers like super beefy. So. It's not a problem. And we'll max out stress in a few weeks. Um, should point out that the game finishes in, like, I don't know, eight weeks? No, it's more than that. It's like 12 weeks. Or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't... Hey, wait, we didn't fight uh, Zool. Wait, did we fight Zool last week? Uh, no, I thought we fought Bidel last week. Yeah, oh, yeah, we were supposed to fight... When are we going to fight Zool? Did we fight Zerul last week? Don't remember. God damn it, I don't remember. <sighs> I honestly... Honestly, God, I don't remember. I think we just... No, I think we just did better. Okay, fair enough. Alright, whatever. My name is Leo. I will see you next week. Stay tuned for uh, Arena. Sorry about that. Okay, bye.